It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged. And in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So today I love to talk about Mel and everything that she has up her sleeve and the recent lives that she's been doing. But first I want to say thank you to everyone that has sent me cash apps today. Thank you to CC Star and thank you to Sharon. I really appreciate you all for contributing to my channel. And thank you everyone that continue to watch and support, comment, and everyone that is subscribed to my channel. I do take time in researching, getting content, finding content, clipping content together, editing, and overall just keeping up with the ups and downs of all the drama and behind the scenes. I've also built my platform on you all liking my rants and liking me really going in depth with my explanations on certain things and how I feel about certain things. So when people get in my comments and tell me, oh, you're long winded or oh, stop talking so much or oh, just let it play. I'm going to cuss your ass out every time. Like, that shit rude. I don't care what nobody say. So, go ahead and unsubscribe, love. In my opinion, that's not constructive considering that is the basis on how I built my platform if you date back to when I first dropped my first video. So, once you get checked for the backhanded compliments, don't be trying to explain to me how much you like my channel. Because if that were true, then you would know the basis on how I built my platform. Ain't that what you're clean with? You need to buy her a fur like you bought me one. So we almost at 10,000 subscribers and I really appreciate y'all because it is not easy. It's draining. Everybody got an opinion and I've created my platform because I got an opinion and I got a lot of them and a lot of y'all don't like it, but y'all be over here commenting and I don't understand why. But that's not why we're here. We're here for all positives. So Mel did a live with her friend Shanita. And Shanita brought energy. Shanita brought energy and Mel that I want to see more on the show. We probably won't see Shanita on the show because she's a down-to-earth, around-the-way girl. She is probably one of those close friends that just don't want to be on the show. She also said in this live that she don't really watch TV. I love that she got Mel to open up and just kind of give us a little bit of a glimpse of just her her cool side you know what I'm saying because we don't really get to see that on the show because Mill is surrounded by people that claim to think that she is a devil's in sheep clothing so she got to tread lightly over there overall the live felt like you were just chilling at your homegirl house you know how you go to your homegirl house you just chill kick back maybe snack a little bit have a few drinks it gave those type of vibes they were chuckling it up about dropping them kids off being women and just living their lives giving themselves some free time and Shanita alluded to dropping her kids off and just being on about her way because people be questioning her, asking her like where her kids at when she out traveling. So Mel kind of opened up and she was like, when Walkie Talkie went on Instagram saying he haven't seen his kids in two weeks, when we all know the real story behind that, she said she packed them kids up, put them in a the car and dropped them off and pulled off as soon as he opened the door. I'm gonna let y'all see that. I put that live at the end of this video. I thought it was real funny. But like I said, Shanita don't really watch the show, but she said she was on Instagram and she saw how people was trying to come for Queen Melly Mel and she ain't really liked it. But, you know, you don't really have to speak up too much because Shanita also said, you know, the melometers are almost worse than a beehive. And I'm glad everybody's starting to get it in their brain. Stop fucking around with the fuck around. Because we really don't play about Mel. I'm a blogger that considers myself to be a melometer. I really love the Love and Marriage Huntsville show. Like, I loved it in the beginning. I'm starting to not really care for it now because it's just too fake. But I really like Mel. I'm very much a melometer. People think melometers don't hold Mel accountable. But we don't really be having much to hold her accountable about we don't have sheen out here copying and pasting people's 
shipping policy. So Shanita is going to go live on Monday and interview Mel. That's what they said in the live. And I'm excited for that. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know. Are y'all going to be on that live? And are y'all going to be up in there chatting it up, asking questions? And y'all also let me know, did y'all get a chance to catch the live that Mel did with Shanita? And what are y'all thoughts about Shanita? Nonetheless, here is her Instagram in case you all would like to follow her. Mel posted her on her story as well. And for the record, this is one of Mel's real friends for the people that keep saying Mel don't have any friends. So Shanita, when you go over there and you interview Mel on Monday, try to figure out when is the Scrubs releasing? Because I've been asking around. She said that the Scrubs will be releasing in a week or so, which was a few days ago. So they could be releasing any minute now. Y'all get in the comments and let me know, are y'all ready? The anticipation is real. Let me know, are your coins ready? Will you be purchasing? Are you excited? I'll keep you guys up to date and let you know if it drops and what day it's going to drop. Hopefully, because I'm going to bug Mia. I'm going to get in her DM and ask her to give me an exclusive date. So hopefully I can give y'all like um, a day to be ready. You know what I mean? Like hopefully I can, she can give me a little exclusive tea the day before so I can get y'all ready. But I don't really know. Male strategic. So she probably not really going to say nothing. She got something up her sleeve and she going to launch it on something big. One last thing before I show y'all the live where Mel told us the story, how she dropped the kids off and skirted off. She also posted this on her story. So as we know, her and the kids are back from vacation. They went on vacation. And I'm assuming the kids are with their walkie-talkie. Or maybe she's with her mom. I don't know. But Mariah just being the head honcho is just letting her know. Like, she's changed. She got tennis at three. Be ready, boo. And I just, you know, I just love the kids' spirit as a whole. They're always into something. They got all these sports, baseball, golf, tennis. So much is going on with the Eminem kids. I love that for them. So y'all take a look at Mel's Live. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about about all this let me know if you would like to see her on the show even though we know she's not going to be on the show and y'all let me know if you're going to be on the live on monday i will pull up like oh you want to play hey, daddy huh said all the children on the on the porch now i did that too i did that one time i ain't gonna lie my manager still laughing about it to this day this was in the early beginning phase right after i had left this joke that went to social media talking about anything my kids in two weeks <laughs> let me tell you what i did i pulled up let me tell you i pulled up I had already told the kids, hey, you gonna grab this bag, you gonna grab that bag. When I pull up, y'all get ready to get out. <laughs> Man, I pulled up. I had a, a long little ponytail at the time. So I pulled up by the curb. Tank grabbed Sugar Mama car seat. You know how you have a little car seat with the baby. Tank grabbed that. Mariah knew what she was grabbing. Malia knew what she was grabbing. They got out. <laughs> I waited till they, they had to grab to get out the car. <laughs> so did. I waited till they rung that doorbell on the porch. I said, right, as soon as he opened that door, because he had no, I was bringing him. But I'm like, you wanna go to the internet and talk? No, it's bad. As soon as I run that doorbell, they run the doorbell, he opened that door. My hair was flying in the wind, girl. I, I called my manager door and I said, girl, I said, I'm free. I ain't got the kids now. I bet he won't talk no kids on the internet no more. <laughs> and left for, left for two weeks. That's what I'm saying, though. So I just believe when people understand, you know, at my house, one of my friends, dad, bringing her daughter this weekend. And one of the things that I have always been about, I thank God for having a, has been a safe haven with me. All of my friends that have kids know they can leave their, their kids at my house. Oh, that's your house. That's what you do over there. And a lot of people, <laughs> especially women, think they don't get a break. And I think they don't yeah. understand. Sometimes a big part of the person we get a break. So don't yep. mother about the F them part that's all about F them. Like, like we get to the point where we need a break. So we're talk about yeah. Yeah, what you just say? I said, we're going to talk about it because we need a break, too. Oh, yeah, we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, let me go, go do some work. I love you. Look Where you go? Oh, girl, I know you don't think you're just going to get off the live when you're ready to get no, off the live this way. I'm just messing with you. I want to take up the whole day. Plus, I done seen some people pop up on the live. I know they watch. Boy, you don't even know people on Instagram until you go live with certain people. I'm like, oh, you on Instagram, huh? Because I went live with Mel. Okay, I didn't even know you had an Instagram account. I'm paying attention, see? People just jump up and just pop up and play. You be like, oh. Okay, no problem. Don't play with man. Don't play with Shanita, man. Don't play with me. <laughs> I'm your real friend. Please don't. I just text my friends. I'm your real friend.
I know, I know. In real life, in real time. In real life, in real time. I got a couple of real friends. I went to Mangetta's birthday party the other day. I was like, girl, you know I'm your friend. She said, in real life. I, I be thinking sometimes people, they only just see one side. They don't see yeah. the whole side. And I really believe, I just posted it. No, I went live yesterday about this pastor that I know that got caught cheating, right? And I only went live because I felt so bad. I was like, yo, why do y'all get excited about people's downfalls? Mm -hmm. Like, get excited when somebody gets hurt, like literally are programmed to celebrate the negative that happened in people's lives. Like that's cool. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely be pissed one day. I'm gonna be pissed. Monday at noon. I'm gonna post it on my story, okay? Then don't come over here with no crazy questions either. What? Yep. And you got you got real like a beehive. I went live with you last time. They were sliding in my DMs telling me all kind of stuff, girl. What? <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Like, people are not playing about me. You ain't told me that they slid in your DM. What? You got a whole. You got, forget the beehive. The the mellow meters are not playing no games. No, they don't play now. Hey, hey, low key. Shit, I'm scared of the mellow meters. Low key. Shit. <laughs> like, girl, they be talking about melody. She she's not in her right mind. She doesn't know what she needs. She doesn't know what's best for her, but we know what's best for her. <laughs> girl, that one that was said they had a whole Facebook group. Just for you, like, if you ever want to join our Facebook group, we gather there to talk about who's a narcissist. I'm like, y'all got a whole Facebook group about male? Let me tell you. They'll be Monday, I love you. Monday, all right. Monday. No, I'm going to post it on my story, too. Bye. I'm going to post it on my story. Okay, this is my last jab of pettiness. This is when you know you famous. When famous people only want to post they stuff on their page. See, I'm not famous yet. I post everybody. Male famous. So she got to teach posted. Did you hear this lady say she's gonna put me on her story? I can't wait for Monday, y'all. I cannot wait till Monday. This lady just said she's gonna put me on her stories. Don't play with me. I'll put Melody on my page. Please do. I'm gonna send you the flyer. I'm gonna send you the flyer. Yeah. Work, 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 work. Entertainment purpose only. is not in entertainment purpose only. It's not in, no. in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not in.